Well, guess what, everyone? I just left. I went up that ladder, and I thought, because I was reading my strategy guide last night, and I could have sworn there was something in regard to Pikmin and a bobblehead. Guess what? There was a bobblehead down there that apparently I missed. It's right in this room. Supposedly. So we're going to see. They're saying it's right before you meet Pikmin down here. Between two pillars, they said. Where did I drop in? From here. Well, well shit. I might have screwed up. There isn't a smack of dirt anywhere. Between two stone pillars. I get the feeling I screwed up. Because this is where Pikmin is? How much you want to bet the pillars were up there? Oh, shit. Because supposedly there's supposed to be a bobblehead right before you meet Pikmin. Which means I'm going to have to do this whole thing again. Yeah, I don't see a bobblehead here. I think I walked right by it because I saw Pikmin and he distracted me. Right? I don't see a bobblehead anywhere. Yeah, it said standing right between two stone pillars right before you meet Pikmin. And we met Pikmin right here. I certainly don't see a bobblehead anywhere here. So it must have been up there, and I ran past it. Fuck. I'm trying to be thorough. I don't see it. I'm going to have to go through the sewers again a second time. Son of a bitch. There's no way to get back up. No, no way. Well, fuck me. Well, I guess we'll see what Pikmin's reward is, right? Pikmin's gift. We'll see what that is, and then we'll have to go through the sewers again and get this bobblehead. Fucking shit. That's tricky, man, because you hear the raiders and everything, so obviously you're not going to be looking around for a bobblehead when you come into that room. Hmm. Alright, well... What could this gift be? Where are we? They put us into the... Yeah, we're not in the house. We're in somewhere else. Anything up here? Nope. <laughs> nope. I gotta go around again. Here we are. Said he needed his key, but in reality, I don't think we needed his key. In reality, I think you just need to be able to lockpick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Whoa, here it is, look. Whoa, bottle caps. I got an achievement. Unstoppable Wanderer. Reach level 25, I leveled up. Pigments, thank you, no. A fiberglass combat armor right leg. Pikmin's blade. Targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. And a muffled, girdled leather right arm. Wow, I wonder what his thank you note says. Thanks, killer. Wow, that's creepy. <laughs> See, my right arm has a special ability. Sharp leather, plus one to charisma and intelligence. So I'm not taking it off. 
I might give this to, to, to her, though. <laughs> Lightweight alloy metal right leg. I have the right. I have the wrong one equipped, by the way. Look, it gives you two bonus AP. I think. I had the wrong one equipped. I wanted the martyr's right leg. I'm gonna give her the uh, these two and see if they're better than what she has. I'm also gonna give her the knife. Hey. Yeah. What's yours is mine, right, darling? Of course. Of course. I give her the wedding ring, which is hilarious. I give her this. I give her this. I told her to equip Pikmin's blade. See if that's any good. So this is the right leg, right? 10 and 10. What's the right leg that she has on right now? Seven and 13. All right, put on the other one. Shit, I fucked up. I hate that they changed the buttons. There you go. And then I gave her this one. Muffled other right arm. 8 and 14. What's her right arm right now? 3 and 5. Yeah, 8 and 14 is much better. There you go. Okay, good. So that was Pikmin's reward, and I leveled up. By the way, I didn't finish investigating his house at all. There's still a lot more stuff in here. Nice. Look. Holy shit. Look at all the dead raiders. He killed a ton of them. Nice head in the sink. <laughs> raiders head sitting in the fucking sink. It's great. Look at this. A pelvis bone in his toilet. I don't know who the fuck Pikmin is. He's a weirdo, though. So that's the basement. I should go up. Check out the top floors. Upper floors. Thermostat. Ammo caps. Whatever you find, don't forget to share. Oh my god, this place is three floors. Let's check this all out. Damn, this house is huge. Nice. This is a treasure trove, man. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. A stupid booby trap. A single bullet booby trap. Another calling card. A machete. Not a machete, a machete. Of course. He's an equal opportunity slayer. What's on the top floor here? Some food. Hot plate. Nothing of any importance there, right? Take the dirty water. Crap there. Weak master alarm clock. The iguana on a stick, I guess. Whoa. Here's a side corridor. Let's not check that out yet. Hmm. Weapons workbench. I can barely see a damn thing. 
Well then, get glasses, because we're not in the dark. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, now let's check the hole in the wall. You know what I'll do? I'll save. Since we're doing a lot here, let's save before we progress. Huh. Ow. Why do I get the feeling this, if you didn't have the master key, this is how you get down into the basement? I think so, look. I think so. This probably goes down there. It looks like it. Yup! If you didn't have the master key, this is how you got into the basement. Okay. I know I leveled up. Relax. He's trying to tell me to use my level up here. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, I'm level 25. I could do level 3 of Gun Nut now. Or I could go level 2 of Armorer. I can't do Locksmith or Hacker until later. Action Boy, I have Max now. And I already did Aqua Boy. Local Leader could be good. Can't do this yet. Or I could just start to up my stats. Right now I look as shit. I could naturally up my charisma, then I wouldn't have to worry about equipping things that buff my charisma, but that's later. I'll do that later. Rank 2 armor mods or rank 3 gun mods? I'm gonna do rank 2 armor mods. There we go. Alright, well I'm gonna go back down here. We're gonna go back through the sewers again. And try to find this bobblehead. Supposedly it's right before Pikmin. It's a nice head. See, look. Alright, so let's go down. You know, I didn't go up here. Anything here? Don't you have a light in that gizmo strapped to your wrist? Yeah, it's on. Doesn't really help. We could loot this other stuff over here. Underground sewer system. Alright, going up. Same way we went last time. <clears throat> Through here. Across the pipe. I s wasn't there a... Uh, here. There's two Nuka-Cola Quantums that I missed. I saw them later. From a different perspective. Got them that time, though. That's good. So, if anything, if I don't find a bobblehead, hey, at least I found the... Uh, Cold Quantums. That's where I saw them from here. Alright, so. We're almost there. This is where I dropped down. And saw Pikmin. They said there's two... Supposed to be two stone columns. And between the columns is a bobblehead. What the fuck are they talking about? Huh? No, this doesn't exist. Maybe the, the guide is wrong. I mean, the guide could be wrong. Hold on. I'm actually gonna bring this bring this up. I'm gonna open the guide. Hold on, because that's the only reason I went back. Fuck. Here, okay. It says. On the ground between the brick pillars in the last tunnel chamber where you meet Pikmin. Uh, no. There's no fucking bobblehead. 
Here we are. Here's the tunnel. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Here's the chamber where you meet Pikmin. So, here we go. Had to drop down, right? On the ground between two brick pillars. Jesus, she almost fucking broke her legs. I was expecting this place to be filthy. Look. There's no bobblehead here. I think the strategy guide is wrong, or they- OH SHIT! Lock picking bobblehead. Lock picking is permanently easier. Oh my god, that was well hidden, man. Holy sh- I never would have found that bobblehead if I didn't have the strategy guide. That was fucking nearly impossible to see. Damn, that was ridiculous. Okay. Alright, so you know what? Now we'll fast travel back to Good Neighbor. We'll trade the quest in with Hancock. We'll see if we get a good reward for it. And see if Hancock has other stuff for us. Cool. Cool. Ugh. That was a good one. That was a fun mission. A gallery full of slaughtered raiders and weird paintings. And you get to the end of it, you save this creepy dude. He gives you some pretty cool rewards. That was worth it. Found a magazine, a bobblehead, and a bunch of unique stuff. That was a, a cool mission. And I got level 2 armorer now, so I could see if I could level up my armor any. Okay, so let's fast travel. Back to Good Neighbor. Trade this quest in. I'm hoping, because I'm helping Hancock, who's the leader of Good Neighbor, that I'll get some good stuff. I don't know, though. But, hey. <clears throat> I hit level 25. So, typically in Fallout, previous Fallout games, in the normal game, level 30 was the cap. And then, we usually, with every DLC, they would raise the level cap by about 5 levels. So, ultimately, your top cap would be around level 50. Blah. Excuse me. You're blocking my light, man. Okay, let's go see Hancock. That was a cool mission. I liked that one. Uh, excuse me. Whew. There we go. Nice pitbull. Kill to get that, huh? The memory gem's great. Just don't get hooked like old kids. Hancock, how's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pigman <sighs> Gallery? How do I even start? You know why they called it the Pikmin Gallery? No, that was the point of the whole job, remember? <laughs> what are you trying to say? God, it was awful. Pickman was a serial killer. He was using dead bodies for his art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. Nice. Anything new? Hey, Hancock. What's the word? No, that was it. I'm listening. No more mesh missions for him, huh? Go ahead. Yeah. Well, we finished you everything. Chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece. Oh to my keep God, this on. weirdo. Keep that in mind. Shut up. <clears throat> we didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Something up? He has nothing to say to me, right? Hancock. Hey. No. So I guess I can't really do anything with him right now. Maybe later. <clears throat> All right. Well. I guess that's it for now. Um, let's get out of here. Now, what do I want to do next? I've got a mission to get a still for this guy in the town. I could do that. 
Because that's nearby, I think, actually. It's not too far. Let's look. Trouble brewing. Yeah, see? I could leave Good Neighbor and just head southeast and get the brewing machine. You know what? That's what we're going to do. That makes sense, I think. That's a quick one. That's not a hard one at all. Well, I could be wrong, but... Is there an armor bench in this town? Hold on. This is a chem, a chem station. Yeah, I don't know if there's an armor... If there's an armor bench, I would like to try to see my level 2 armor upgrading would do. Because I don't want to fast travel right now. <clears throat> since the next mission is so close. Nah, yeah, I don't think there's a bench. Weapons workbench. Maybe she has the armor? Yes. Hell of a load you're carrying. No, she's got a cooking stove. Oh, wait. Ah! Okay, let's see. Polished metal is slightly better. See that? And that needed rank two. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Something better than that. No. The biocom mesh is the best. Yeah, you need high ass rank. You need like three and four. Lead line. I need science. I need to get science as well if I want to get better, uh, better levels of armor. Okay. So science maybe should be my next uh, leveling upgrade then. <clears throat> Plus I bet that'll yeah. make my uh, my weapons better too. All right, we're gonna go off. We're gonna get this still. See how that works for the town. Very nice. <laughs>